Hi, you are watching Arduino Sensor Web Display. My name is Kashif Baig, and I will be demonstrating a project that has been developed using a new MVC framework which promotes a professional software design. This is the second of six projects in increasing order of complexity. Visit my website to download the source code and framework libraries, and whilst you are there, you can find out about my ebook, Arduino Web Development Pushing the Limits. It lays the foundations of a professional approach to web development using the Arduino platform. It has lots of coding examples and exercises to get you upskilled quickly. And so back to the presentation. The source code will build using the latest Arduino IDE, but I recommend using the freely available Visual Studio code if you want to take advantage of Arduino server pages. Watch until the end of the presentation to find out more. To get the sensor web display working, you will need a network enabled Arduino or compatible. And it will also help if you have a 91 sensor shield. If you don't have one, then you will need to adapt the source code to suit your circumstances. So I'm going to be using an UNO with integrated Ethernet and will be reading values from the DHT sensor and light dependent resistor or LDR. Connecting a web client to the UNO shows the sensor values which auto refreshes at a fixed interval. When the LDR is obscured, we can see the lighting percentage is reduced. And when heat is applied to the DHT sensor, the temperature reading rises. Looking at the class diagram, we can see the relationship between the model view and controller classes. The sensors model has the responsibility for reading the sensor values. The sensors view depends on the model and renders the values as HTML. The layout view classes implement a master web page that has navigation links. The control filters the HTTP request and serves an appropriate view. Client script in the sensors view refreshes the display. Also look at the main application loop. Be sure to download the source code and adapt as required for your circumstances. See if you can integrate the web API demonstrated in a previous presentation. View rendering is covered extensively in my book, Arduino Web Development Pushing the Limits. A major advantage of using Visual Studio Code is that dynamic HTML and JSON contents can be authored using Arduino server pages or ASPs. ASPs feature server-side scripting tags that professional web developers will be familiar with. To be able to use ASPs, follow the guidance on my website to configure your computing environment. New web projects can be created from the command line and opened in Visual Studio Code. If I now deploy to an UNO with Ethernet capability, we see starter web pages and a responsive navigation menu. If I paste some code into one of the ASPs and redeploy, when I refresh the browser, we can see the updated web page. And that is how straightforward it gets when you integrate the view builder with Visual Studio Code. If you have any questions about this project, please leave a comment at my website and remember to visit for updates and new tech projects. If you're watching on social media and found this presentation useful, please like and share. Thank you for watching.